It was a category four hurricane, 138 knot winds that hit the coast and the eye came right over our city. It had a lot of small tornadoes inside that big storm. So that's why when you go around town, you're gonna see sometimes a little bitty house that survived and then right next to it, a beautiful big home that is completely destroyed. The community as a whole is 35% uh, completely destroyed. And then of the remainder of the community, probably 30 to 35% in addition to that, that will probably never be rebuilt nor occupied. The storm obviously is devastating. We've lost so many trees. We've lost our shade. Our, our oak trees are like our identity here in Aransas County, and it's just heartbreaking to see it. Our community has long been identified with our windswept oaks uh, right here on the coast. It's a signature tree here in our community. These trees are super important to me and to this local ecology. Texas A&M AgriLife Extension and Texas A&M Forest Service uh, are working together to assess the trees to see if they can be saved. The Urban Forest Strike Team is a group of trained certified arborists and foresters whose main job is to come in and assess trees after a major disaster to help protect the public and protect the trees. I love these trees, but when I look at them, you know, laying over, broken at the top, broken in the middle, I don't know what's recoverable, what's not, and I need advice and knowledge from them that guides me on, on how to rebuild the, the ecology here. They really care about their trees here. Trees create a sense of place. And in a situation like this, often our buildings can be replaced. We, we start to rebuild, but it takes a long time to replace our trees. In many cases, we can save them and not have to replace them. Without their help, I'm stumbling in the dark. The impact to our community forest is going to be really big. There's a lot of trees that have been damaged that will need help. There are a lot of places where we will need to replant trees that have been lost. And so really it's one of those situations where the recovery process is going to take years and years. I have one in my house leaning a bit, but my wife was looking at it this morning and it has little tiny green leaves on it. It's already beginning to regenerate, and that's two weeks. Now, I'm not a master gardener or a master naturalist, but I've got brand new small green leaves on an oak tree in my yard. So I'm happy about that, and I hope that the, the trees like this all over our community have little tiny green leaves, that symbol of life uh, coming back.